Good morning, everyone. Simon Holden here, the Sheriff of Tippingham on Tuesday, the 29th of March. Well, we are full on here in the bunker in the library, uh, trying to get our new project ready for a Thursday kickoff, our horse racing project, our ownership, our syndicate. We are full on, um, but I'm taking a break to give you a big priced each way HFC bet and to say that the trading room of course gave that 12 to 1 winner in the very last race at Cheltenham are back with a big win gamble at Wolverhampton tonight now as I've said in the HFC email only the BHA could of course launch the flat with a big kaboom at Donny and then put on loads of small fields jumps racing on the turf but who are we to question those who run the sport in such a spectacularly clever way right um yesterday on here i gave the outside of three and it finished the outside of three so apologies about that uh following on of course from a 33 to one winner of the lincoln in uh rohan and yesterday a very easy winner in the hfc club mail now loads of new members yesterday if you watch this channel and you're not a member of HFC, do get in because you missed a big winner yesterday at the link below. Uh, but for our HFC flyer, we go to the final ra race of the night, the 8.30. It's a one mile, uh, one, one and a half yards, let's call it one mile two, class five. Uh, Swilcom Bridge, who won uh, last time out, is the favourite. Uh, for Andrew Balding and Dave Prober, you know, it's going to have its uh, supporters and rightly so, but it's been found in the market at odds of two to one, nine to four. I want to take this on with an each way shout. And if we get placed, we've got a nice profit. Uh, the horse I want to take it on with is number two on the card called Spy from the Mark Johnson yard. Uh, not been seen for 104 days. I think this one's bred to be a better three year old. Uh, I've no reason to believe it won't be fit. Uh, there are a yard that do usually start the season well. Uh, the good record on the all weather. Jason Hart takes the ride. Last time out as a two year old uh, was 8th of 12 at Lingfield. All happened a bit too quick for it there. But before that, had been fourth and third and looked to be quite a promising uh, two year old. Now, I've been given a mark of 76, which I am sure the horse can be competitive of, if not win off um it's second top weight this horse really should be running in better races on breeding obviously it's got to go and do it and is it one of those horses that had his three runs scott handicap and now we'll see big improvement kind of what i'm banking on there's an element of lof leap of faith in this because you can get 12 to 1 with bet 365 you can get 12 to 1 with William Hill and 888 Sport. Now, if this is good, they're going to come for this, they'll come for this late. So we'll be safely on at 12 to 1. I think he's got an each way squeak in this. I think it's an improver. I think Swilcom Bridge won a not too competitive race and it's vulnerable off a new mark, but it's going to take some catching. It's a short price jolly. If it wins, great. You know, if we can get ours placed, we've got a chance of beating this. We've got to think long term. We've got to swim against the tide and look for possible improvers. That's what HFC Leap of Faith bets are about. And we win enough to make good profits. Whereas if you're going to back the short price jollies on the all weather, you will have your uh, time as payout counter P. But long term, you will go Mr. Flintskin. And that is not going to happen to anybody who watches this channel or is in my HFC club. So stand by your beds. Another big day of organising. We're looking at a Thursday launch. HFC club members first, as always, and look out. So it's going to be quite the week. Let's see if we can bang this in. And, of course, looking forward, we've got Scottish National. We've got the big two-day meeting at Newbury. It's going to be a hell of a weekend. But for now, keep it HFC because, well, what can I say? Hold it. Oh,